in the next movie I wanted to show you how EPUB crawler allows you to set up a font mapping. So we're actually bridging two different worlds, the, the print world and the EPUB world, and they have different ideas about fonts. So to allow you maximum flexibility and minimum amount of manual work, uh, you can set up a font mapping in EPUB crawler so that it automatically translates specific fonts or font combinations into different CSS styles. To do that you need to work around with a little bit of the config.ini file and the EPUB styles. So the first thing to do is uh, have a quick look at this document. So this is just a dummy test document. It's nothing nice about it but it's just uh, to test all kinds of things. And I've been doing um, all kinds of funny things like I have uh, been creating a paragraph style called base called base para style so that style is typically assigned to pretty much all of the paragraphs in the documents so which is okay and then I've been playing around a bit with some uh, character styles so you see as I walk through it for example this one is actually formatted in comic sans because um, I know that's something that uh, designers don't like to see so just for the heck of it I've used Comic Sans and called the character style Funny Sans. And then uh, here I have some Arial. And here I have uh, some style called Plain Ugly, which is uh, using Courier New. So all kinds of fonts being assigned in the document. So it's really a bit of a hodgepodge. That doesn't matter. So it's all for demonstrating how it all works. So the first thing you do is make sure that there are no um, overridden characters like everything is assigned to a style because EPUB crawler does not take into account any manual formatting so if I were to take a, a word here and actually change the font assigned to that word or whatever that would be ignored by EPUB crawler it only looks at anything that's formatted in either a character style and or a paragraph style so if there's any manual formatting you need to clean that up. There's lots of tools that do that like Blattner tools or uh, other uh, style cleaning up tools. Right, so we have this document, lots of fonts in there. So the first thing to do is to do a dry run. So I just go to the scripts palette and on the scripts palette I just run epub crawler.jsx bin. So double click, tick tick. So it takes a little second. Done. So and now I hide epub crawler for a sec and the file you want to go so this is the epub folder that was created on the desktop here test file so my actual file was called testfile.indd and the file that uh, the folder that I created is called test file I go inside the oebps folder and I find this file called template.css and open that with a text editor in that file you can see what it has found. So it will have created CSS styles for all of the paragraph styles and the character styles. So for example base para style is based on the name of the style in InDesign. See for example base care style. So the suffix, the C or the P, gives you an idea whether it was a character style or a paragraph style in InDesign. See, and they're all mapped to some default font. For example, here the base paragraph style actually was using a font called Impact, and all it did was essentially copy the font name without really any regard of for whether that would work or not. Now, this is not meant to work, so the whole reason why we open this file is to look at what we need to be mapping. So, and if you look now, uh, there should be a f string called here font match string see here font match string is impact comma 12 so that string is something we can use to do the font mapping so let's remember impact comma 12 so and if I scroll down and look at the character styles for example I see here the font match string for the base character style C is Arial regular and if I scroll further down there is a comic sans MS regular and then if I scroll even further down there is a courier new regular so let's keep this open for a second so what we need to do now is we need to 
define the font mapping that we want to use um, in EPUB crawler. The file to edit is called config.ini. So we've uh, also looked at that file in the previous movie just to configure uh, EPUB crawler. And that same file also contains the settings for the font mapping. So what I do is now I open this file in my text editor and if I scroll all the way down you'll find there is a font section with a, a section name fonts and then a whole area that's actually totally comments but I can delete those comments and here now we can type our font mapping so we had a font uh, impact font match string impact comma 12 now I can imagine there might be other sizes of impact, not just 12 points. So I can use regular expressions here. And if you know regular expressions, dot star means anything. So this string actually means match any font match string that's called impact followed by whatever you want, comma, some size. And then I have to say what I want to map that to. Let's say I want to map that to the string serif. And I can say, well, I want to do that to serif bold normal. So these are all CSS style information. So font family, font style, and fo font weight, and font style. And then what else did we have? We had comic sans. So I can say, like, anything that starts with comic and then followed by whatever we want. So I, I'm not even putting the comma. Let's map that to Arial. And I don't worry too much about the bold or italic. And then we also had some courier. So let's map courier followed by whatever we want to courier. And then uh, uh, the last, we had another one. I forgot what it was. So let's have a quick look. Oops, this is going the wrong way. Let's look in the template again. So we had um, Courier New Regular, F Comic Sans, we had Arial Regular. So Arial, uh, we could just leave Arial. Now, the easiest is to just say, well, let's do a catch all. So I'm not going to map Arial itself, but I'm just going to say, like, anything, dot star means it matches anything, equals times. So I'm going to match anything to that's remaining that's not matched yet to times. Okay, so what this will do is anything that's formatted in impact of whatever size will be mapped to serif, bold, normal. Uh, anything that starts with the word comic and then whatever I want will be mapped to Arial. Anything that starts with the word courier and then anything will be mapped to the word courier and then Anything that remains that isn't mapped yet will be mapped to the word times. All right, so let's close the config.ini. So note also, now we're looking at the template CSS again. So in the template CSS, for example, the base character style C has nothing here. All it says is uh, there's no font family. There's only font style, normal, font weight, normal. And if I look at the base paragraph style, that's just font family impact, the font size 12 pixels, uh, font style normal, font weight normal. So kind of try to remember how this looked and we'll just hide this thing. So now that the config.ini has been adjusted, I simply rerun EPUB crawler. So that takes a sec. And then I hide the things that are on my desktop. And you see the first run of EPUB crawler is this uh, EPUB folder called test file. The second time I run it, it now created test file 1. So inside test file 1, I f again go and find the template CSS. This is a different template CSS file. This is the one that we created with the second run. And if I open it now, you see the base paragraph style P says now font family serif. And it also added the comment called mapped, which signifies that this font name or this font family name is the result of a mapping in your config.ini file. 
font style is normal and font weight is now bold see because we actually in the mapping we asked for the font style to be uh, the font weight to be bold if I scroll further down for example the base character style C is now font family times and that's another mapped one and funny sans C is now font family Ario, another mapped one and then plain ugly C is now mapped to font family courier so let's have a quick look at the results when viewing, uh, viewing in a browser See, you see all my things like everything here like the courier is actually courier-ish this uh, uh, Comic Sans is now an Arial so the font mapping has done its job so this is a short introduction to font mapping there's more to it but I'll cover that in the next movies